The NFL on CBS is live from East Rutherford, New Jersey for the regular season finale. The Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Philly lost control of the NFC East but can still win the division and grab the number two seed. They need to beat New York today and a Washington win over Dallas. Welcome, everybody. Ian Eagle along with Charles Davis. Evan Washburn will join us down on the sidelines. It was a year ago the Eagles went on that terrific run to the Super Bowl. But here we are at this stage of the season. It's a serious slump for Philly, and it's just not the same vibe around this team. Nick Sirianni is trying to fix it. He certainly is, and it's really not X's and O's. It's really not offense, defense, even though they made a change at the defensive coordinator. It really comes down to just execution without making a lot of mistakes. They've got to find a way to ride that line of playing a clean game without tightening up. They want to play loose on the flip side. Brian Dayball and the New York Giants, I was at practice this week. They are loose. Obviously, they're not going to the playoffs, but their goal, play a good game and beat Philadelphia for the first time. And Saquon Barkley says, we have to beat teams like Philadelphia to become relevant again. Today, they hope to start. Let's get more on the matchup now downstairs to Evan. Yeah, and if the Eagles are going to stop this skid, it will inevitably start with their quarterback, Jalen Hurts. And talking to Hurts yesterday, he's steadfast in his belief for what this team can do today and moving forward. But he said it comes down to everyone having an identical approach. And he challenged guys this week to not compromise their standard, demand excellence. Now, he will have to do it today without two key weapons. Devontae Smith out with that ankle injury. And a late week scratch. DeAndre Swift is out with an illness. And Evan, it's been the one and four stretch that has been so concerning for Philadelphia. They were 10 and one. This team was considered, if not the best team in the NFL, to start the season, one of the two or three best teams. And such a different narrative right now. Eagles won the toss. They've deferred to the second half. So it will be Jake Elliott kicking it off and... Gunnar Oshetsky has the honors, had a 94-yard punt return for a touchdown last week for New York and was named the NFC Special Team Player of the Week. We're underway in Week 18 at MetLife. And it's coming out to the 25-yard line. So for Philadelphia, number two seed and the NFC's title with a win and a Dallas loss. If those don't come to fruition, they're dropping down to the five seed. So that means either a loss for Philly or a Dallas win. Tyrod Taylor and the New York Giants open up at the 25-yard line. They enter action at 5 and 11. Three straight losses after